UNOC, the Uganda National Oil Company is here to manage the commercial aspects of the petroleum sector on behalf of the state. Uganda Refinery Holding Company will hold a 40% participating interest in the uh, refinery project on behalf of the Uganda National Oil Company and the government of Uganda. The project includes the construction of a 60,000 barrel per day refinery, a multi-product pipeline which will originate from the site and terminate at storage facilities in Mpiji district. Uh, the refinery will be designed to process Uganda's crude oil. We will produce LPG, otherwise known as gas, uh, premium and regular gasoline, Jet A1 for aircraft, which is also known as kerosene, uh, diesel and heavy fuel oil. Uh, the studies have determined that the best configuration for Uganda is a residue fluid catalytic cracking process um, that will give us this range of products that we need and enable us to satisfy all our petrol needs in country, uh, but also give us the opportunity to export to South Sudan and, and Eastern DRC, uh, as well as satisfy most of our diesel requirements in the countries, will still be required to import diesel. The refinery project is currently at front end engineering design, otherwise known as FEED, and the aim is to complete all the required engineering studies um, and estimate a lump sum turnkey price for the refinery. At the end of the FEED, we'll have a cost estimate that is accurate to plus minus 10%. The location of the refinery is within the Kabale Industrial Park, which is located in Hoima District um, in Western Uganda. Uh, the project is organized uh, based upon a project framework agreement. Um, and among the activities that's taking place, aside from the highly technical activities of the front-end engineering design, we're also working on an environmental, social and impact assessment. And that activity has started. Uh, it will take probably another 15 months to complete, at which time the report will be submitted to NEMA uh, for review and approval after the study. The refinery project benefits for Uganda include very high rates of return, so in excess of 20%. Um, and this will also improve our balance of trade by increasing exports and reducing import requirements. It will assure our energy security for the country. Um, there will be job creation, uh, there'll be growth in, uh, of local enterprise to support the value chain, um, the refinery jack value chain in general. Uh, there'll be new infrastructure put in place, which will also benefit other parts of the economy, such as agriculture. And of course, we're expecting a significant amount of jobs created during construction, somewhere between five and 10,000 jobs during construction. Um, and then once the refinery is operation, in operation, there'll be somewhere between five and 800 jobs for operations. UNOC, your partner in Uganda's oil and gas sector.